10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition. It's T plus 40 seconds, and we've just had liftoff of our Falcon 9 vehicle, taking Power our Starlink payload to its targeted deployment orbit. We are now throttling down and throttling back up in preparation for Max-Q, which is coming up here in about 10 seconds or so. Max-Q is the maximum aerodynamic pressure that the vehicle sees throughout ascent, so this is the largest sorry. structural load that the vehicle will see. Should hear that call out in about five seconds. Maximum aerodynamic pressure. And there's that call out for Max Q, confirmation that we've just passed through Max Q. Coming up in about a minute, we will have three events in rapid succession. The first of which being main engine cutoff, or what we call MECO. This is where all nine of our M1D engines shut off and slow the vehicle down for the following event, which is stage separation. And that's when the first stage separates from the second stage. And then finally, the lighting of our second stage MVAC engine, which we call SES-1, or second engine start one. Now, if you've been following our Starlink missions, you know that we've reduced the number of burns on the second stage for these missions from two burns down to just one single burn. This allows the second stage to provide 70% of the velocity needed for this mission, which allows the first stage to use less fuel and thus making first stage recovery much easier. So today we will again only be doing one burn of that second stage engine. Again, coming up in about 10 seconds are those three events, MECO, stage separation, and SES-1. Miko one. Stage separation confirmed. And back ignition. And there we've just had Miko and stage separation. That stage separation confirms the successful fifth use of our first stage booster. And you can see on your right screen that second stage MVAC engine lighting up and taking that second stage to its targeted orbit. And we're just a few seconds away from fairing deploy. Again, this fairing was used once Fair before on a very confirmed. first Starlink mission. And there is the visual confirmation of fairing deploy. So this means that we've successfully reused this fairing. So now let's see if Miss Tree and Miss Chief can catch those fairing halves today. We're about 15 seconds away from that entry burn. We're going to wait for that visual confirmation the burn started and call out that that engine burn was successful. Stage one, Stage 1 Stage 2 continues to follow a nominal trajectory. Stage 1, entry burn shut down. Our entry burn has just completed. The next step is our landing burn. It's about 90 seconds from now. Uh, in terms of velocity reduction, uh, with the remaining velocity, the, uh, the denser part of the atmosphere actually slows our Falcon 9 by 80%, and the landing burn uh, achieves just that last bit of reduction down to zero. Welcome back to the webcast for Starlink. 
We had an on-time liftoff this morning at 8.16 a.m. Eastern Time. Our first stage successfully separated from the second stage, but unfortunately we did get confirmation that we were not able to land that first stage today. We are obviously disappointed, but our primary mission on second stage is still on target to drop our Starlink satellites to their deployment orbit. So we did get confirmation of deployment. And there is that live view. So you can see on your screen the satellites are slowly separating away from the second stage. And over the next few weeks, they will distance themselves from each other and eventually use their onboard ion thrusters to make their way to their final orbit.